This is the story of the infamous Leon Kennedy. Kennedy's story starts in Resident Evil 2. He was just a simple rookie cop who was on his way to Raccoon City for his first day on the job. However, on the way, he finds out that things in Raccoon City are pretty crazy. Due to an incident that happened at an umbrella lab nearby, zombies and mutants are running amok. He meets up with Claire Redfield, and together they head deeper into the city. They get separated and Leon makes his way to the Raccoon City police station. There he is forced to fight through the multiple terrors that have inhabited the station, including the mutated Dr. William Birkin and the B.O.W. Mr. X. But he also meets a kinda sorta ally in Ada Wong, a mercenary who is trying to obtain a sample of the G-Virus, but is currently lying to Leon by telling him that she is part of the FBI. With Ada Wong, he finds Annette Birkin, the wife of William Birkin, in the nearby Umbrella Lab. Annette and William work together to make the G-Virus, so they need to be taken down. Annette escapes, but eventually Leon corners her. Annette reveals that Ada has been lying about being a part of the FBI. He confronts her about it, but Annette shoots her as the lab begins to collapse. Leon tries to save her, but she falls to her presumed death. So our boy Kennedy starts making his way out the lab. He defeats Mr. X, then reunites with Claire and Sherry Birkin. They fight off Dr. Birkin one last time, then escape the lab. Afterwards, Leon gets recruited to a special fighting force meant to fight off B.O.W.s. Then in Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, he goes on a mission with Operative Jack Krauser to South America to stop Javier Hidalgo, a drug lord who's messing with the T. Veronica virus. After they take care of that, Leon heads home, and Jack gets discharged due to an injury. However, Leon soon finds out that he died. Later, the president's daughter, Ashley Graham, gets kidnapped by a religious cult in Spain called Los Illuminados. This cult is being run by Prophet Osmond Sadler, and he's using parasites known as Plagas to control the minds of his followers. Leon and the president can't have that, so Leon heads to Spain on his own to rescue the daughter. On his quest to save the president's daughter, he runs into the elusive Ada Wong, and an alive and evil Jack Krauser. Eventually, he defeats Krauser, then the Prophet, then rushes off the island with Ashley. Later, a former Umbrella researcher, Frederick Downing, begins using the tech company Well Pharma as a front to advertise the T-Virus and its newly created vaccine. Luckily, in the movie Resident Evil Degeneration, Leon, with the help of Claire and SRT member Angela Miller, put an end to his plans. Then in the movie Resident Evil Damnation, Leon finds out that the Eastern Slav Republic's ongoing civil war involves the use of B.O.W.s. He leaves his vacation early to try and aid in ending the situation, but it gets way too out of hand. So much so that the US and Russia intervene right at the climax. After this mission, Leon goes back on vacation, because after all the nonsense he's been dealing with, Lord knows he needs it. But the nonsense doesn't stop here because we're moving to Resident Evil 6. The newly elected President Benford decides to go public about what happened in Raccoon City back in RE2. Because to cover the whole thing up, the government bombed the city to keep things quiet. However, before he could do it, he turns into a zombie and attacks Secret Service agent Helena Harper. Leon is then forced to shoot the president to save his comrade. It turns out that an evil organization called the family they didn't want the president to tell the public the truth. So the president was infected with a newly created C-Virus. The person responsible for this plan? The National Security Advisor himself. Derek Simmons. Now that's just portrayal on a whole new level. Derek pisses the death of the president on Leon and Helena, so they rush over to confront the guy in China. On the way, they run into Sherry from RE2, who is now a hardened agent fighting the good fight against B.O.W.s. They eventually find Simmons, and manage to beat him after he mutates from his C-Virus infection. But afterwards, a C-Virus bomb drops in the whole city, turning most of its residents into crazed zombies. So with the help of Ada Wong, who is here for her own reasons, Leon and Helena defeat Simmons again, officially killing him and find a way to end the C-Virus outbreak in China. And they also received enough evidence to drop the whole president killing thing. Later in Resident Evil Vendetta, Chris Redfield recruits Leon Kennedy to stop Glenn Arias, a bioweapon dealer who engineered a B.O.W. from the Plagas back in RE4. Nowadays, Leon is a pessimistic drunk who is sick of battling all these bioweapons, but he puts his pessimism and alcohol away to help his bro. They successfully defeat Arias, but the movie ends with Leon questioning his life, wondering if all he'll do is battle bioweapons. Then Chris Redfield just kinda tells him to not worry about it. And that is the story of Leon Kennedy so far. How do you feel about this character's transformation from cop to action badass? Let us know below. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a gameologist, click down here to subscribe. If you want to see more episodes, click on the video on the left. And for more shows, click on the right. Sounds easy, right? See you next time. Bye!